Um, Chrisland University organized its first maiden, oh no, its maiden inaugural lecture today, 5th of July 2023. Yeah, I mean, there's always a beginning of a thing. As a young institution, um, we have succeeded in also appointing few professors that you can call Christland appointed professors, not professors from other universities. So uh, by the time we started having our own professors, we thought it fit to begin inaugural lecture. Inaugural lectures give opportunity to the inaugural lecturer to Tell the world what really makes him or her a professor. So, and that's what we've done today. Professor Badi of Political Science and International Relations is the first Christland appointed professor. And so we gave him that honor to be the first to give the inaugural lecture in this university. And that he has done today. He spoke about um, interest. Like someone said, this is one inaugural lecture that has one word um, title. Interest. Politics and its study. What has the course on interest got to do with my position as professor of political science and international relations at Christland University? My academic specialization is in political science and inter international relations, or if you'd like, political economy with practical hands-on experience and some publications that dragging me into conflict studies. Grasping national politics involves a specialized study that could be approached by a descriptive analytical method or a behavioral orientation using survey methods and statistical analysis. Such efforts benefit from received knowledge by way of reflections of many a philosopher who had paused to understand political phenomena by way of political theory. Understanding politics at the groups, classes, national and international levels is significant towards comprehending the, its study as a discipline, the study of politics. As earlier noted, the right to clean air, water, and food are fundamental interests to human beings as well as many other living things. In large part, air remains abundant and yet to be regularly harvested. If you have been sick in the hospital and they gave you those oxygen, you will know it costs a lot. Let's think about the time when those who are controlling society start to corner air and we have to buy air in order to breathe. What would be the kind of cost? Of course, people are bound to think today, not possible. But I was a kid, water was all over the place. We went to Owa River and drank. And then I will know what brought pipe bond water. It was free. We only paid taxes. But today, you buy bottled water uh, because my friend, just right, has to sell uh, that to you. The, um, so power, influence, and authority are modalities involved in providing responses to interest-driven demands of each individual families, groups, classes, special entities, and of course, nation states. Power is not politics. Many a time, some people make that mistake. For me, power is an important instrument needed in the allocation of values. In effect, 
power is the capacity to make others do what they otherwise would not have done. And it is important in managing interests, that is, in the management of politics. You start to see the link that I'm making between interests and politics. With power, there is the element of coercion. Influence, on the other hand, appears more subtle. It is the ability to shape the stance of others through persuasion or subtle use of pressure that does not strike the person. As. And then there is ideological suasion. Ideological suasion allows religious leaders a lot of power that receives, that receivers lap up as an influence. This explains the role of religion as it constantly goes hand in hand with those in authority in political orders. Um, authority derives from the routinized ways of doing things, even in families. Um, and the importance of authority at the national level led a political, an American political uh, scientist, David Easton, to define politics as the authoritative allocation of values. What is that values are allocated also by those who are not in authority, especially today. Um, you, you see the, the role of several multinational corporations in society, and you also see the, um, uh, the role of terrorist organizations in changing many things the way we do them. So allocation is not only on the basis of um, authoritative, meaning for me, I'm departing from what David Easton is suggesting in saying that it is interests that is politics. Um, I, I, I double into looking at the Nigerian 1999 constitution to suggest that that constitution is uh, not in the interest of Nigerians in the large part. Because as I said, I'm a political scientist. Politics is the essence of politics, of interest. It is, I want this, you want that, and we try to get everything managed in the family before we go to the level of regional before we go to higher levels. All these interests are at play. And since um, politics is interest, I am studying interests to understand how to
this lecture is basically talking about empowerment of youth, empowerment of the country, giving people a sign that you can achieve more, you can do better than the way I was before. The way I might be doing next year might not be the way I'm doing this year. So that's just basically.